it's very easy to talk about how much we care for our customers, how much we love our customers, how customer centric we are. Here's the thing, the words aren't enough. You must be the most customer centric person on your team. Are you the one keeping the lens on the customer? Too often when we talk about customer experience, we talk about this sort of aspirational idea, but we don't look at the real world they're operating in, the constraints. In my career in retail and franchising, my focus has always been on real world application. When I speak to frontline teams, when I consult with executives, my focus is on the strategies and techniques that work when you don't have enough budget, when you don't have enough staff, when you don't have enough time. Raise your hand if you have enough staff, if you have enough budget, if you have enough time. If you have enough of all three, please raise your hand. That's the real world, but so often when we talk about customer experience, we don't talk about these constraints. We cannot do it all, and we certainly cannot do it all well. What really impressed me was the common sense approach that he took to his message. He's the type of person who you can see lives through his words. It's not just lip service. I thought it was absolutely fantastic. Being a third generation entrepreneur, being from small business, all of the lessons that I bring to the stage come from my experience. You've got to find a way to both improve customer experience, scale experience, but also deliver it in the micro when you're operating with these real world constraints. You can draw a straight line from hassle to emotion and from emotion to experience. How can we make an emotional connection with our customers? How can we take the slightest interactions and make them resonate? And how can we make every experience a hero class experience? We take often our most untrained employees and we put them in the most important position in our company, which is face-to-face -face with customers. Your frontline teams are not built, nor are any of us, to get screamed at, yelled at, cussed at, and go, thank you, ma'am, I understand. I'd really like to help you with that. <laughs> you can't expect frontline team members to take customer emotion, to know how to react, what to say, how to show empathy without training. And it's not that our teams don't want training. They want training that's relevant and that will help them do their jobs and face the challenges they meet on the front lines every day. Adam worked with us. He was so willing to record a video and help us promote our event. He took the time to know our audience and to craft his presentation to meet their needs. If we tell our teams that we value customer experience, that the customers are our focus, but when they sit down for their monthly review, they're asked how many sales they closed, how many tickets they processed, how far below budget they were. Those incentives send a message. They tell your team what your real priorities are. Want to know how to embody a customer service vision? How to lead a customer focused team? You put your money where your message is. If you say we care about customers, then invest in customer experience. And more importantly, invest in your team's ability to deliver those experiences. That's how you create and lead a team of customer heroes. That's how you become a hero to your team as well.